right here. Big man. Oh. Get off that time. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sand Dog Kayak Adventures. And first thing is first, party was awesome. Thanks to you guys, so many of you guys showed up. We cooked uh, almost 100 burgers, like 50 dogs. Thank you so much for making the first annual Sand Dog Mad Angler Spring Opener such a huge success. We had a blast. And just so you know, we're already planning the summer closer. That will be in Dana Point. We're going north for this one. We're doing something a little different for the Dana, the Dana uh, party. So. More to come on that. Today, I'm out with a uh, guy, Min. He's been a subscriber forever, and he just likes to go on trips now and then, man. This is his thing. So we're going out today. We're gonna do a little big boy fishing. We're gonna go out into the channel a little bit. The um, halibut should be coming in like any moment. They've gotta be here. Like this is literally what they do is they spawn right now. So they're here. We're gonna go freaking find them. And today we're gonna catch some big halibut, and I'm gonna show you that's the plan. So welcome to Sand Dog Kayak Adventure, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't noticed, I've got a killer hat. Go to the website, sanddogkayakadventures.com. Check out the merch store. Click on the upper left-hand corner where it says merch. Check it out. There's a bunch of cool stuff. Hats, shirts, all that kind of good stuff. So thank you for supporting the channel, guys. Thank you for uh, everything you guys do for us. We really appreciate it. You. It, I can just give you another. Yeah? Yeah. Right here. Big man. Right on. There you go, buddy. You can. Oh, off he goes. I do believe I got something jacking with me. Let's see. What's up guys, just gonna kinda show you where I'm at and how I'm fishing here. I am at Zuniga Point, or Zuniga Point, however you pronounce it. I am on the west side of the pylons. I am fairly shallow, I'm at probably 15 to 18 feet of water. And if you're on this side of the pylons, you can literally look down and see the eelgrass and the sand and uh, that's this is one of the things I love to do all the time is come over here to Z Zuniga and literally find the eelgrass by sight and then just fish around um, the edges of the eelgrass and see what's hanging around so that's what that's what we're gonna do uh, let's see how it works out for me today I typically catch uh, at least one or two halibut when I'm out here doing this sort of thing so uh, wish me luck and let's see how it works out you. I might have a decent one. There you go. Let's see what we got. It's a halibut for sure, I can tell, but let's see how big. Feels like it might be. <coughs> but fur. If you guys see, I'm keeping this bend in my pole the whole time. I'm just kind of. Their mouths are really soft. Yep, it's a hell of it. Let's see how big. I just saw him flash for a second. Bend in the rod, have your drag a little loose, let him take that drag if he wants, the rattles are solid.
look directly in the mouth, so he's going to look in the gill or the face. I think he's going to be a little short, but let's see if we can swing him right on in. There we go. Barely hooked in the lip, that's why I was kind of finessing him up. Their mouths are really uh, soft, so a lot of times, a lot of times I'll make sure my drag is nice and loose and just fight him for a couple of minutes, let him get tired. Up he came. Looks like he's probably going to be a little bit short, but we'll see here. I got to get my grips in his mouth. There we go. Now I've got him. Let's see. Calm down. Just stay calm, bro. I'm sure you're going to be a little short. Yep. Just a hair under 21. No parasites on this guy at all. Let's let him go. Yeah. Little shark. He's going to splash me in the face, probably. Oh, I got lucky. No splash. Body. Tons of head shakes. Oh, a tiny baby olive is what it was. Got another little baby holly. Another perfect little lip hook. There we go. That's that. The guy with bananas, I thought he was a spotty. He must have just been a little and all fired up. No parasites on this guy. Kind of a lighter color. Pretty fish. Sit him right here. There he goes. guy's got a parasite on his eye, on his face. Time to do some cleanup. There we go. Just got that guy out of his eye. And then we got that guy gone. Alright.
all cleaned up. And for those of you that think leaving a halibut out for our, this long a time hurts them, it doesn't, as you'll see, he's quick and spry, ready to roll. Perfectly fine, no worms.